أحسن الله إليكم يقول السائل ماذا على المسلم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم <coughs> The Sheikh حفظ الله تعالى was asked ماذا على المسافر إذا سمع منادي ينادي للصلاة هل تلزمه إجابة أم يترخص برخص السفر So the Sheikh was asked حفظ الله تعالى what is, it, uh, what is it upon the traveler if he hears the Adhan for Salat is it an obligation for him to uh, to answer the call or is he excused with the excuse of traveling? The Shaykh Hafidullah Ta'ala answered by saying, Al Ijaba Laysat Wajiba in Arad al Ajr Yujib al Muadhin Wa in Majab al Muadhin Falaysa Hada wa bi wajib Alehi Sawa Kana Musafarin O Mukimin Ash and then the Shaykh said so then the Sheikh clarified uh, the answer. So the first part of the answer, he said that uh, returning or, or uh, responding to the call of prayer is not an obligation. If he wants Ajr, then he should uh, respond to the call of the Muadhan. And if he does not respond to the Muadhan, it is not an obligation upon him, regardless of whether he's a traveler or he's a resident of that locality. Then the Sheikh clarified. He said, or is it meant the by ijaba or by responding, meaning to be present at the masjid? And the questioner said, al-hudur. He said, it is to uh, be present at the masjid. So then the Sheikh said, half of the Allah Ta'ala, as an answer, he said, Yajibu ala men semiya nida wa laysa lahu udhr yahdur wa yusalli qala sallallahu alayhi wa sallam men semiya nida falam yatihi fala salat lahu illa min udhr qil wa ma al udhr qil khawf o marad bad al nas idha kanu musafirin wa nazilin fi bayt مقابل المسجد يقولون نحن مسافرين نريد أن نصلي في بيتنا لا ما يجوز لكم تصلون وتسمعون الأذان وبجانبكم المسجد يقولون نريد أن نقصر صلوا مع الإمام وأتم الصلاة أعظم لكم أجر لا تحرمون and fusakum min al ajr wa ijabat al nida bi ijab al muadhin yani al hudur wajib li man sami'ahu wa qadra ala al hudur sawa kana musafirin aw mukimin so the sheikh said hafizallah ta'ala with regards to uh, a person being present if they hear the adhan with uh, being a traveler if they hear the adhan uh, what should should they do in this situation? So the Sheikh said, Hafidullah Ta'ala, he said it's an obligation on the person who hears the Adhan uh, and there is no excuse to not uh, be present uh, at the masjid and not pray. And then he said, the, the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, whoever hears the uh, Adhan and does not come to it, then there is no prayer for him except with an excuse. And then it was said, and what is an excuse? And then he said, al khawf al-marad, you know, being uh, in fear or being sick. And then the Shaykh said, Hafid Allah Ta'ala, he said, and some people... If they are travelers and they arrive at a house near the masjid, they say, we're travelers and we want to pray in our house. And the sheikh said, this is not permissible for you. 
uh, to pray and you hear the adhan and you are close to a masjid. Uh, and then they say, we want to uh, shorten our prayers. The sheikh said, pray with the imam and complete your salat is greater for you in reward and do not prevent yourselves from this ajr, from this reward. And responding to the call for prayer. Uh, and then he said, so the responding to the muadhan meaning being present at the masjid, is an obligation for the person who hears the adhan and who has the ability to be present, regardless if he's a traveler or he is a person who is a resident.